Why is it important to sequence the genomes of animals? There are many important reasons why to sequence the genome of animals. And in this case, we're talking about all vertebrate species on the planet, all animals. Uh, one of them is we'll be able to figure out how everybody's related to each other, the whole tree of the animal kingdom. Another is that many of them are resistant to certain diseases that humans aren't resistant to. Uh, and we can figure out in their genomes why they're resistant and others are not. And the third is we can actually uh, use their genomes in the past if a species goes extinct to try to resurrect them from its extinction. Once we sequence a genome, even of just one individual animal, the entire history of a species is in our genome. And so you can tell how divergent or how, how diverse the population is by looking at a particular genome of an individual. And based upon that diversity, you can decide who that animal is going to breed with to help preserve genetic diversity. Because part of what happens during extinction is genetic diversity decreases and animals start to become more susceptible to diseases and, and then die off easier. So it's possible to bring species back to life that are extinct by using the sequencing of their genomes. I guess the question is, should we? Once a species goes extinct and you have not preserved their DNA, uh, then you lose them forever. But if you preserve their DNA before they go extinct and you can't figure out how to prevent it, let's say 100 years later in the future, we figured out a way to resurrect the species from extinction by using its preserved DNA and its genetic code, uh, then it makes it possible. And this is one of the reasons why we're really aggressively sequencing the genomes of endangered species that are on the verge of extinction within the next five to 10 years. So why now? What technologies are available that's making it possible to sequence animal genomes today? There are two factors. Uh, one is the cost for sequencing has come down dramatically, all right, from like two to three billion dollars a genome, like for the human genome originally, now to a high quality genome for 20 to 30 thousand dollars. New technology has come about uh, that uh, our group, the Vertebrate Genomes Project, has been part of uh, that allows us to bring the pieces of the genome together into a more complete picture to fill out nearly the entire puzzle of a particular species genome. And this will, will allow us to not only resurrect a species in the future, but it will allow us to do a lot of th different things right now that we could not do before. So how did you go about deciding which species to sequence? We don't have the money for all 66,000 species, so we decided to do it in phases. And the first phase is focused on species that have common ancestors among them that go back to the time of the last mass extinction, the time that wiped out the dinosaurs. And this adds up to 260 species, including human, which we're doing over again. And the reason why we did that is that we want to learn uh, what happened back in time. We can learn from looking at the family tree of these 260 species. What happened 66 million years ago. And when do you estimate completion of the project? Uh, it's hard to estimate a completion of this project when we don't have all the money for it and we're trying to raise the money for the entire project. But through crowdfunding amongst scientists and the public, because uh, we have a website they can go to for, on the vertebrategenomes.org uh, website, we have been able to raise money for the first phase of our project of all 260 species representing what we call vertebrate orders. And at least those 260 species will inform us of what's happening or what happened in the last mass extinction and what's happening now in the current mass extinction that's induced by humans. For that first phase, that's basically about $7 million. For the entire project, we're gonna need over $150 million.